Good morning. I'm Rahal Solomon with your morning digital news brief for Wednesday, September 27th. Police are looking for possible eyewitnesses to a deadly shooting in Germantown. A 16 year old boy was shot and killed at about 830 last night on East Pastoria Street. An 18 year old boy, a 20 year old man and an 11 year old girl are at Einstein Medical Center. Police say at least two shooters were involved. And more gun violence as the man is shot at his front door by someone pretending to deliver a pizza. This happened in East Mount Airy yesterday on the 200 block of Garrett Street. The victim was shot in his back. He is in stable condition. And two more members of Pennsylvania's fourth disaster medical assistance team will be heading to Puerto Rico today to help with relief efforts. The rest of the team flew to Puerto Rico last week to build pop up emergency rooms. The group of first responders is made up of doctors, nurses and paramedics from local hospitals. Let's go check on the forecast with meteorologist Katie Failure. Katie, it looks like another hot day, but then a change. Yes, big changes, too. We're finally going to go from the height of one season to the midst of the next one. So it really does still feel like summertime out there today. But by tomorrow, and especially beyond that point, it, you're going to start to need to wear layers. Let's put it that way. But we'll take it back here, take a look at what today has up its sleeve. And we've got to talk about the tropics again. Now, Maria has been downgraded to a tropical storm, a pretty potent one at that. But this is the day it makes its closest pass to our area. I'm not so much worried worried about wave heights as I am still worried about that rip current risk. There have actually been fatalities due to the rip currents in recent weeks. So I, my advice is just stay on dry land. You know that rip current risk continues right through the rest of the week. This storm is thankfully moving out to sea, but uh, it is still going to really turn up that surf. In the meantime, you might even see a shower get thrown back on shore because of Maria's close proximity. Now the comfort index is something else to talk about here. It's still a pretty steamy day out there, but then it obviously gets wiped clean come tomorrow and Friday and beyond that point too. So here's how it all pans out on the thermometer. We're flirting at least with 90 here today, guys. But by the time we hit tomorrow, this is a dose of reality. Low to mid 70s. The expectation for the vast majority of the seven day Saturday looks really cool. It'll be a struggle to even get up to 70 and I don't think we quite make it Rahel. So some cool air on the way that's like you hoped for. Exactly. That's all right, <laughs> Katie. Looking forward to it. Thank you. And remember, you can always get Katie's most up to date forecast and the latest stories right here on on CBSPhilly.com. That's the latest for the morning digital brief. I'm Rahul Solomon. Good morning.